we've been superseded by the Trump announcement on North Korea, Luca. We've got so much to discuss. Quickly, let's just get that out of the way. We've had a five-minute chat about that with our man in Washington. It shows us that there's always geopolitical risks out there, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think this is uh, actually a big story. Obviously, on a daily basis, you see a lot of volatility. But to be honest, this kind of risk will stay with us for a long time, probably. So one day you have good news, the other day is bad news. But I don't think this is going to have a significant impact on markets for the next three to six months. How are you tweaking, contemplating, changing your asset allocation in what's been quite a 2018 so far when it comes to volatility and market movements. We still look at basically four factors. We look at economic growth, we look at monetary policy, we look at valuation and sentiment. So we haven't changed anything in our approach. The noise is bigger than before, but to be honest with Trump is something that you have to, to live with. But we haven't changed much. We think that there is a lot of noise and some fundamentals change are taking place. That's why the market is more kind of volatile. So growth is a bit weaker, inflation is a bit higher. But we try not to be distracted too much by this geopolitical noise. Geopolitical noise is certainly getting a bit deafening out of Italy, you'd have to say. Is there a point at which we start to worry about the upward movement in yields we're seeing in Italy and spreads versus Germany, for instance. Look, 200 is not a level that is, is incredibly high. We are at 500 uh, a few years ago, but definitely it's a sign that investors are looking at Italy. Uh, the economic program of the government is probably not as radical as uh, many people think, but the risk is there. We know that almost 60% of the Italians say that the European Union is bad for them. So there is definitely the risk of some kind of experiment uh, done by, by the new government, but it's too early to tell, and I suspect they will do what Trump is doing, making some big announcement, and then actually if, followed by some big retreat. So I, I wouldn't be too worried, but it's something obviously you have to keep an eye on.